What is your purpose, passion, promise? What is your purpose, passion, promise? What is your purpose, passion, promise? You're the daughter of the most high. Welcome back to Divine Destiny. Today we have a great group of women and we want to sit and talk with you about how are we balancing ministry, family, work, and friends. Not necessarily in that order, but we know that there's a lot of women out there that are looking to find a happy balance in their lives. But at the same time, we want you to know and understand what is it that God has for you. What we may want to do or what we may like may not be what God is calling for us to do. So we have this group of women here today and we're gonna just we're just gonna talk freely and we're just gonna share our hearts of what we feel is important to us and how we balance ministry, family, work, and friends. So um, you guys, want to, anybody want to say their names today? Let's start with you over here. Hi, my name is Yolanda. Okay. And I'm Keisha. I'm Shalanda. I'm Nikki. Madalena. My name is Jamisha. Alexia. Joy. Okay. All right. So we have the whole group here. So I'm just going to ask a few questions and you guys just feel free to just jump in wherever you feel. Um, what is most important to you? Out of all these, of all of the things that um, this question pertains to, family, ministry, work, and friends. At this point in your life, what is the most important thing to you right now? Family. I think family. It's family. Now. I don't know. You say now. Why do you yeah. say now? Because <laughs> it used to be when I was in the world, the streets, whatever. Um, it used to be friends because I really went into ministry like I should have been. But now that I'm into ministry. And that's what I'm just teaching us now. It's just like my family has to come first. I had to let go some friends and stuff like that. Now it's my family instead of, I was thinking it was ministry because everything I was doing was, oh, I got to go to church. I got to do this. And then my girl got to get picked up for what you call And I used to have my sister, hey, ain't going to pick her up. And they'd be like, that's your responsibility. And I'm like, and then I read in the Bible, it was saying that, you know, you got to take care of family first and then, you know, your mom church and stuff. And then I was like, all right, so it was just tough for me, but now I know that family comes first, so and that's what's okay. I agree because we have a very small family, and our family is very scattered, so we have a couple of them that moved up here behind me, so now we're kind of close knit now, and it's more coming up here. So as we go forth, we're trying to do Sunday dinners and doing different things like that because we hardly ever, ever did that kind of stuff. So once I can get them at my house and I can get them at the Lord's house. Amen. 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 Set up, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With me, I want to say um, I think family and ministry right now, but back I'll say a few months ago, well, growing up, my family was never close. We weren't meeting you. It was my first time actually sitting down at the table and eating dinner together. We never um, we never had that. But now it's like, well, what I want to do, which is ministry and dance. You know, I love to dance. It's like sometimes I find myself so caught up in watching things on YouTube or on a computer, and I'm stuck at the computer all day doing this, this, and that. And it's like I think about, wow, I'm neglecting my child, and I wonder why she always mommy TV. Mommy TV, 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 because what do I do? I stick her in front of the TV so that I can stick my face into the computer. Mm -hmm. But now it's like I'm starting to see, okay, she has so many gifts in her at a young age, and I'm starting to see that. So it's like, okay, now what is it that I need to do to pull these things out of her now at a young age? So now it's like I try to, I get up in the morning, and I, and I put baby Kareem on, or I work with her, I say her ABC, she loves to sing, she loves to dance. All oh, wow, okay, once I do that, then it's like, okay, I spend my time her then I can put her in the front of the TV, but put something on educational, put something on that she, you know, she could learn or, you know, my godmother always said, well, she always walking around talking about loves you. Why can't she walk around saying Jesus or Moses or, you know, um, you know, that sort. So I'm just still learn, learning how to balance what I love to do or what I really want to do um, with my child. So. I think for me, because I'm still trying to determine what needs to be first, more importantly, I know that uh, having God in my life is, is the first thing. Mm -hmm. And I think allowing me to know that God is important will allow me to be able to balance the rest of the things. But 
the other things, kind of like LaDuane, I don't have a real close family. Um, you know, I'm, I'm still trying to uh, deal with situations from my past and trying to reach out to someone, or to my mother, who's not really uh, wanting to be there. So uh, I'm married and, and then having, having marrying him before I was in the church and then trying to have him to understand that I, I you know I have to do this I'm trying to please God and and I, and I need to have my life right you know and then having those confrontations with him and then on top of that friends that I used to be friends with I realized their conversations are not the same anymore so you know that circle is kind of being a little it's, it's kind of a little smaller so for me at one, at, at one point it, it was all important and I still want it to be important, but now I'm trying to find a happy medium. I'm trying to find a happy medium, and I don't want to don't want to place myself in a position where I'm trying to please everyone. Right. When I know ultimately the person that I need to be trying to please is God. Right. So for me, I, it's it's all important when you're asking the question. I, right now, I can't put, with the exception of ministry, I can't put any else. I can't put any other. Uh, order to the rest of them. Mm -hmm. I just know that if I can continue to please in God, just trying to just search my heart, just clean my heart and keep it right, I know then that everything else will fall in place. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to have that the attitude, well, you know, oh well, oh well, because it's not oh well, because, you know, I'm married. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to say oh well to my husband. I need him to be there with me. I need right. him to mm -hmm. see the importance. I need him to have an eye opening like me. Wow. Is this what we've been missing out on? So for me, it's like, Serving God is, is, is more important than any of it, any of it. But at the same time, at what point do you, do you not stop serving God, but at what point do you say, okay, Dwight, I, I, need, you to, I need you to walk with me to do this. You know, at what point do you really say to your, your spouse, your significant other, you know, how do you get him to, to understand Yolanda's going to this meeting? Why? Because I'm trying to just, if I'm trying to place myself in a position yes. where I'm going to be around people yes. who I know are yes. just, just for my better. Yes. I mean, I'm, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, that's for me, I, I, can't, I don't have a, a straight answer. I'm still trying to find a happy medium. Mm -hmm. And in the process of me trying to search and find a happy medium, I'm, I'm, it's called, uh, there's a lot of turmoil. Yes. But ultimately, I would love to be able to have that family. I would love to be able to sit down. I would love to be able to pick up the phone and call my mother and talk about some things, anything about, man, this is what I did today, versus having to tell my husband, this is what I did today. I would love to have that relationship with my mother to do that. So for me, I'm trying to find a happy medium with all of it. But more importantly, I think right now is just focusing on God because I know once I'm right, my heart is right, my life is lined up, and I'm applying the word, then I know because his word says that he's obligated. Right. to do what he said he's going to do. So that's kind of where I stand on that issue. Well, I, I think that um, for you, a lot of you pleasing God first, everything else that you desire is going to fall right in line. I think for me, the hard part was my husband was always wanting to go to church from day one, but there was always a difference in where we were in church, um, and a lot because he works a lot. So a lot of it, I always say, was like recycled word. You know, when he'll call, how was church today? And you give him the word and you give him it so you feel like you're kind of, you're growing and I'm not going to say he necessarily is stagnant, but it does make a big difference in where you're going and when you get the word because my revelation may not be what his revelation was. But I also know too that a lot of times we can't be going to constantly do this and preach to them. All we can do is live and, you know, it'll, it'll come. It'll come. You know, the Bible says that, you know, we, we do the right thing. He's supposed to save our household. And we just have to stand and stand and stand. And like I always say, you know, you married now, so you're stuck. <laughs> so you have, you have no choice, you know, but to just, you know, wait it out. You know, and you sound like you, you know, you really love your husband and you want him to be the man that God has called him to be. And it's going to happen. Just stay doing exactly what you're doing. Yeah. Stay doing exactly what you're doing. And even with the friends, um, I always say, you know, I had a lot of friends. Um, I can't necessarily say friends. I would say associates. Yes. You know, people that before I got saved, but you don't have to worry about it. They, they will kind of right. go on because, oh, because like right. you said, the conversations change, different things change, like Keisha was saying. Conversations change, but if your desire and your heart is to have godly friends, he will give you godly friends. You know, the Bible says that we show ourselves friendly. Well, that's what you do. It's like reaping, sowing and reaping. You know, you sow it and, 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 and you reap it. That's what you get. You know, and uh, people that will just love you and care about you and not looking at you to see what they can get from you or to get all your business and take it over here and over there, but people that will genuinely love you and, and see the gifts and talents and then want, want you to go to the next level and I hate on you because you're going to the next level because God is blessing you. 
you know, they saying they're good. We're going to you and you're saying. And that's what a 